So uh, the other day, someone commented on my business page because I was um, talking about those who believe in the rapture, that uh, those who are left behind are condemned and those who leave are being liberated to go to a higher existence. And I'm just like, wow, the Freemasons left no stone unturned. And then they were like, well, I can't take you seriously from this comment when you have the diversity rainbow heart on your on your profile. And I'm like, well, I don't see the LGBTQ community promoting the death programming at all. I don't see them <laughs> condemning anyone <laughs> to heaven or hell. Okay. I just see them living their life. So yes, I'm going to put on there, I'm going to put a diversity symbol because diversity doesn't just mean LGBTQ. It also means binary, non-binary, anything that is balanced, productive, peaceful, tolerant, you name it. I mean, you can call yourself whatever you want as long as you're peaceful, tolerant, and productive, contributing member of society. That's what I'm looking for in myself and I look for that in other people. And so what I'm trying to, to point out is the whole rapture is a death programming. And in my opinion, I think they used the whole Christianity thing to take resources from people, use them for a certain amount of time, and then instill a self-destruct button. And that would then include all the spirituality stuff that would then justify you passing away, dropping a few kids before you're on your way out the door, and then the system can program your next generation for whatever they want to use as far as resources. Now that's not out of the realm of possibility because we live in a very advanced strategic society run by very advanced strategic people who know how to use energy, who know how to use energy to manipulate. Shit, yesterday I felt extreme amounts of energy, ate a bunch of food, even was hungry at 10.30 at night. Today, I fell out. Today, I mean, I got up early this morning, did a few writing, and then around 12 o'clock, I was like, I can't deal with this. I have to go to sleep and recoup the resources I used yesterday. Okay? So what I'm seeing here, guys, is that I think your life, if you're Christian, Catholic, Jewish, Muslim, your life is precious. That I am actually arguing with the death programming that there's something better over there that you're better off not on this earth. No, I don't believe that at all. I think your life is precious. I think that if you learn how to live a balanced life and you don't <laughs> condemn somebody else because they're not living the way you want to live, that you can still contribute and that you could still, you know, be a productive member and teach your children how to survive this and that you don't have to teach your children to self-destruct as well. And so... And so that was interesting. That's why, you know, when I actually, I added on to that, that, uh, post about those who, I don't understand those who, who, who believe in the rapture, you know, think that those who are left behind are condemned. I said, I'm just resisting the death programming. That's all I'm doing. I'm questioning the death programming. No Christians, you don't have to die. You don't have to go through the rapture and go through that whatever pleasurable thing that then then has you rise into the air whatever i mean <laughs> okay and we're going to be hit with a lot of different things and we're going to be seeing stuff that we've been reading about okay maybe as holograms you know out there in the plasmic sky that right now looks pretty animated with so much stuff and so when you have a high frequency environment anything is possible because then you can, yes, project holograms. You can even see who knows, you know, as above, so below. And so today, yeah, I had to go and balance out the energy that I used so much yesterday. And that's how it works. It's all plus and minus. It's all balance. You get gifted with a bunch of energy from DARPA, from Tesla. And you're like having amazing connections. I was having such amazing thoughts yesterday. It was insane. The amount of just innovation I was thinking, like, oh, wow, 
It's just what's gonna be like in the future when everyone's just so highly intelligent and highly energetic, da da da. And then, <laughs> and then I was hungry and I was just racing, racing, racing. And then today, bam, uh, Mother Nature said, okay, you used a bunch of energy yesterday. Now you need to go and take a nap for a few hours. You need to eat a bunch of food, recoup the resources, because you used up a bunch of proteins for typing, for thinking, for all the activity. And so that's what's going on right now is humans have been abusing the gifts of energy and cures. And now, right now, we are in a moment of reckoning with all the energy being forced to now <laughs> people feel the pain of the body trying to become whole again because they've been bred to be fractions of their potential. And so that's what religion is all about is, is uh, compartmentalizing people and making them a fraction of their potential and then making it okay for people to suffer on their way out the door. But not really because they're trying all these ways to have cures and painkillers. But when life wants to live, you can't stop it. And then with these frequencies being raised, it's going to force life and your body to want to live and the pain's going to come back. All the painkillers you all are on, all the different therapies you're under are not going to work very long when they keep messing with the frequencies, raising them and lowering them and raising them and lowering them. It's, it's pretty quite extraordinary. It's like being, you know, like being a puppet. Somebody is, is just tasing you and tasing you every so often tasing you. It's pretty trippy. It's really trippy. Okay. So no, I'm not knocking the Christians. I'm not trying to make fun of anyone. I'm actually saying that your life is more, your life is precious. You're, I'm saying that your life is precious, even if your pastor doesn't, or anyone else in, in the world that you live as far as the traditions. I'm saying you have a lot to offer to this world if you understood how to live a balanced life where you didn't have to believe in the rapture, as if there was a better place to go, because how do you earn a better place to go if you haven't even figured out how to balance your life here on earth? And then once you balance your life here on earth, then what, what, where's there to go? Why would you go somewhere else? That's what I did. I ran away when I was younger in my, in my, you know, twenties, all the different places. I got to go here. I got to go there. It's better over here. The grass is greener over there and nah, 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 nah. and realized I took myself wherever I went. So I took all my problems wherever I went until I finally put some roots down and dealt with my problems and dealt with the issues and realized there's no other place better than wherever I'm at. And that's the thing Christians is that your place is here on this earth. You, you, you guys have so much to offer that I don't think that you should be falling into that rapture programming that it's better somewhere else that it's better to 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 just not deal with your issues and then let your kids deal with your issues and then they repeat the same mistakes and then what kind of future do they have when do, <laughs> what kind of future do they have if they have your predisposed issues if they don't know how to become whole what are you leaving to your kids it's not even about what you're leaving earth I mean, what, do you, what kind of resources and tools and an arsenal to work with that you're leaving to your kids? How can you give them a better place if you haven't made the place that you're in better? And that means your own body, your temple, your mind, your spirit. And so, yeah, I challenge anyone that says to me that I'm making fun of the Christians. No, I actually think that the Christians, the Catholic, the Jews, all the different religions, if they can figure out how to be tolerant, balanced, productive, peaceful members of society, I don't think that, you know, that, that, that the death programming that was uh, forced on you through your religion and politics and scientific dogmas, I don't think that, that it was, it's appropriate anymore. I think now it needs to change. And somebody needs to say that you're actually more impo you're important enough to say maybe reconsider your beliefs and your traditions because your life is more important than the beliefs and the traditions that you've been raised with. Because as you can see, it's not been working very well in our society. Look what's going on. So maybe it's time to honor your life, honor your kid's life, honor your parents' life. But more importantly, respect yourself and honor your life. Because if you don't honor your life, your kids are not going to respect you and neither will your parents. They may be nice to your face, but when you think about it, if you don't care about yourself, who's going to? All right, bye.